The social media game is a very different game than the Amazon game. In Amazon, you can launch a brand, start doing some promotions, some giveaways, go heavy with strategies, start optimizing, doing PPC. You can start doing all those things and suddenly you can start getting some traction within a month or two or maybe three months, okay? If you have a good product in a good niche market. That's the Amazon world. The social media game is a longer and different game that requires a lot more testing. So this is what we're doing on the agency. What we're doing agency-wise is that we're grabbing a single campaign, let's say a branding campaign, and then we have another campaign called a purchase campaign, and then we have another campaign called a messenger subscriber or lead generation campaign. And in that campaign, we are creating hundreds of audiences, duplicating, duplicating, and duplicating audiences and testing them out. And once they're in there, we have like combinations, people that have watched video, people that visited the website, people that are page fans, people that like certain things, certain income levels, people that use certain cell phone devices like iOSs or Android devices, whatever it is, you can have hundreds of combinations because let me tell you something that Facebook doesn't have. They don't have a lack of data. They have an enormous wealth of information that you can use to create audiences. What I always tell my students is that when you're doing an audience, try to stay within the one to two million audience size range. Because other than that, it gets too large and you can't really communicate well to a big crowd of people of 10, 20, 50 million people. But if you have a targeted one to two million people in there, now you can communicate with these guys better and find out faster if there's gonna be an audience that you can scale or an audience that you need to turn off, okay? So one campaign for branding or purchases or leads and then hundreds of audiences you duplicate, 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 and make as many of them as possible. And then you can have like a few ads, or ideally, if you have the manpower, also test out hundreds of ads, catalog um, artworks, single images, single videos, um, catalog uh, carousel videos, carousel images, collections, presentations, Whatever you can, test out a lot of different things. Short copy, long copy, call to actions with one single word, call to actions with several words, an entire line, a long description, etc. You can test out a bunch of different things. And then what you do is that you can go at the on the business manager. This is a little bit more advanced, guys, but this is something that we're working on setting up. And you can set up automated rules. It's called automated rules, okay? On the business manager, there's gonna be on the drop down menu something called automated rules. These are rules that you can use to actually turn off your losers and to increase budget on your winners as you please. There's thousands of different combinations of these rules, but if you set up some basic ones, when you start bleeding out because of a losing campaign, Facebook is going to help you and turn off all the losers and it's gonna help you also scale and increase the ad spend on the winners. Guys, it's a system that works. We're incorporating it and it works like magic. If you do this and if you have the patience, the right patience in place, you will be able to grow your business. Now, it does not happen overnight. The social media game is a very different game than the Amazon game. In Amazon, you can launch a brand, start doing some promotions, some giveaways, go heavy with strategies, start optimizing, doing PPC. You can start doing all those things and suddenly you can start getting some traction within a month or two or maybe three months, okay? If you have a good product in a good niche market. That's the Amazon world. The social media game is a longer and different game that requires a lot more testing. But if you start doing the social media game for your Amazon brand or for your e-commerce or for your local business or whatever brick and mortar that you have, you have to start testing things out and get ready. If you go back to my content, to all my podcasts, to my videos, to everywhere, you're going to actually go back and see what ideas you can incorporate into your business that are going to help you scale your business now today in the social media world. But you need to have a mental 
preparedness to deal with a delay of anywhere from six months to a year. Within six months to a year, if you do this consistently, you should be able to eventually create a monster that you can scale that now starts giving you $1 spent, $5 in return. $1 spent, $7 in return. And once you have that, like Dr. Berg, like my dad, like other brands that I handle right now, once you have that, now you have a gold mine that is yours forever and ever and ever. And even if Amazon shuts you down, even if you want to change brands, even if you have something else, you understand that now you build an audience that you can keep on using actively. So your social media game is everything. This pays big time. If you do this in this route, guys, it pays. And it pays in a big way. And it's something that you cannot forget about its power. But you have to understand that it is a long game and it requires a lot of activity. There is no such thing as set it and forget it in the social media world. That is false. It is a recipe for disaster. There's a couple of things that I teach to my students that is as close as possible to evergreen campaigns. Something called dynamic ads. When somebody goes to your website and now you can follow them around, those are pretty evergreen. But overall, to stay alive in a social media game, you have to understand that you have to work actively on the accounts. You have to create a lot of audiences, ad sets. You have to test out different variations of copy, images, and videos. You have to test out different copies on the call to actions. You have to be willing to move things around, turn off and turn on, and never get frustrated when you have losers. Because having losers is part and parcel of the actual social media game. There's no such thing as a social media marketer, even me, that I'm supposed to be one of the top gurus in the social media world that is going to have 80% winners. I wish. It doesn't happen like that, guys. I waste a lot of money on my Facebook ads because I have to consistently keep on working on finding my audience, finding my creative, finding my exact message that's going to get through to these people and help them come into my sales channels, okay? That's how it works. So patience. Be willing to have the patience. Don't give up. Understand that it takes time, guys. Think about it. Like myself, I have been doing this for a couple of years already. Two years actively, social media content, nonstop seminars, right? Particularly, if we look at it, I've been only going at it for the last six months. I already have a million-dollar course that I have gotten a lot of people on through my content, right? Through my seminars. I'm just getting started, but it's taking me a lot of work and a lot of implementation to get there actively. Think about people like Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg, who's... Uh, a rock star, a social media superstar, my number one client together with my dad. This guy created his social media channels, particularly YouTube, back in 2009. In 2009, nine years producing content consistently, actively on the social media platforms. When I took over his social media channels a couple of years ago on Facebook, he pretty much didn't have anything. On Instagram, he didn't have anything. I brought those channels to life. The YouTube channel had 300,000 subscribers already when we came in. Today, he has 2.2 million subscribers. So he has gone viral in the last couple of years since we started helping him. But in reality, guys, you got to keep in mind that for the first eight years of his social media career, six years, seven years, Nobody really paid that much attention. He was already surviving well. He was already generating millions of dollars in sales, but not like he is today. Today, he's a social media monster. Today, we can accomplish incredible things through his content. Today, he's a real rock star. We do a convention, it gets packed. We offer new products, they get sold. We have an extension of a... Uh, a digital program, we sell it. Whatever it is that we do, we're going to sell because he built himself there by consistency, by patience, by hard work, by testing, by dedication, and by having a brilliant marketing mind behind the whole thing, okay? So it's what it takes. It takes hard work, it takes a dedication, and it takes patience. If you're not willing to have the patience, then I suggest that you jump off the social media ship because there is no way around it. Patience is a part and it is a requirement if you want to win in the social media game.